Isn't it lovely? A worthy cause, folks. A worthy cause. Thank you. You're welcome. You've done a great job, Marjorie. Only the beginning, only the beginning. <laughs> it really is great, Marjorie. I don't see how you did it all by yourself. Why, it's very simple. Bill Weatherby loaned me his backyard theater. I brought the gang over from college. Talent. You made everybody buy tickets, finance. Result, the community chest will be very happy. <laughs> I was going on. I'd better go. Will you excuse me? Surely. Surely. Miss Blaze. Hi, Rudy. Boss Gal in? She ain't out. But you are, Gabby Whitaker. Unless you pay to get in. Show's on me, fellas. Want you to meet Rosie McGurk. How do you do? Before she bowed a tendon and got soft in the wrong places, she was a right good rodeo hand. We've heard a lot about you. No one's ever equaled the fame of rough riding Rosie McGurk. Why, I was riding steers when you was breaking rocking horses, Sonny. What's your billing? Roy Rogers. These are the sons of the pioneers. Please Our tell pioneers. you, How do you? Professional etiquette calls for me to bid you welcome. Yeah. Dig down, Gabby. That'll be two dollars a piece for the boys and five for you. Nineteen dollars? You know this here's a charity benefit. Come on, put up and shut up. The refreshment table's yonder, boys. Go on over and cool off. Thank you. How come you had even change? Oh, I know they was going to get hooked. I've been to these things before. That's Marjorie's number. So sweet that I repeat means I adore you. Amor, amor, amor. Would you deny this heart that I have placed before? Another word with meaning so clear My lips try to whisper Sweeter things in your ear But somehow or other Nothing sounds quite so dear As this soft caressing word I know Bye. 
Jeffrey, you were wonderful, That's wonderful. Fine, fine. That's my boss gal. Gee, I didn't know anyone could sing so good and be so pretty all at the same time. And she's smart as a trick pony, too. Why, she just finished graduating as a full-fledged Bachelor of Art. Really? I wonder if that much book learning is harmful. Oh, if I know Frank Madden, I don't figure she'll be a bachelor long. Excuse me. Hello, Gabby. Hi, boss gal. Sorry I'm late. Miss my boss. Never would have got here if Rogers or six other fellas hadn't toted me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not six other fellas, so you must be Rogers. That's right, Miss Brooks. Roy, meet Frank Madden. How are you? Howdy. I always enjoy your show, Mr. Madden. It's good. Thanks. Roy's greed put on a nag for your little shindig tonight. Well, um, I appreciate your willingness, Mr. Rogers, but I'm afraid a display of horsemanship would hardly fit in. Well, we wasn't aiming to stomp down your grass. <sighs> hey, boys. Oil up your musical tools. Do to give the customers a treat. Gabby, the program is all arranged. Shh. Jumping jackrabbit. What kind of jigging do you call that? That's a ballet of wood nymphs. They ain't wearing enough clothes to flag a hand car. You see, Mr. Rogers, our performance is cultural rather than rugged. Well, I hardly think we'd fit into a setup like that. Well, you're all very welcome as guests. Guests? Guess my eye. I paid $19 to get through that turnstile. Well, then watch the ballet. You'll get your money's worth. I just as soon slide down a razor blade. <laughs> Gabby! Come on, fellas. We go camp under a hedge till this cultural clam bake it over. <laughs> Edification, I'll take $19 worth of your best. <laughs> okay. This is the command performance, boys. Swing your partner to the right. Swing her back and hold her tight. Swing her far into the night. That's the cow folk polka. Do si do and promenade to some other little maid. Swing her once and then you pray. That's a cow folk polka. One little bird in a three reel pen. The bird hops out and the crow hops in. Chicken in the bread pan picking out dough. The crow hops out and away you go. Circle lane and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's a cow folk polka. Pen. The bird hops out, the crow hops in. Chicken in the bird pan, picking out dough. The crow hops out, no way you go. Circle late and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's a cow folk polka. I'll run up and pick up our playing dates from Weatherby. Then we'll head back to the ranch. I'll go with you. Oh, 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 book on the rodeos. Gabby's busy. Yeah, you stay here. I'll be back to Jiffy. Now, Gabby, that's silly. If I'm going to help run the Brooks Rodeo, I want to learn all the angles. Well, you can. Once we get back to Santa Fe. Oh, sure. Let Gabby be the errand boy. Besides, it ain't important. Isn't. I'm glad you agree with me. Sit down. <laughs> oh, can't leave you. Boss gal's waiting bag and baggage, spend her summer on the ranch. You ought to do something about Marjorie's spending, Gabby. Oh, I couldn't spoil her last year in college with worries. Just because the show had a couple bad seasons. You expect to make enough to pull you out of the hole this year? You book me solid and I'll do her. Come on, haul out them playing dates. I haven't got any dates, Gabby. I couldn't book you. 
I guess I will sit a spell. You... You ain't meaning the state fair. Oh, no, you still got that contract. Can't live a whole year on the fair show and alone. I... I don't understand, Bill. You mean you ain't got no other dates at all? That's right. They just don't want your show. I'm sorry, old man. I ain't old. Maybe sagging a little, need my whiskers trimmed. You've not only got whiskers on your chin, but they're on your business methods, too. Are you telling me my judgment's got whiskers on it? I'm trying to tell you that Frank Madden's worldwide rodeo has stepped out ahead of you. He's kept up with the times. He signed up the top attractions while you've been content to plod along with the same old show. The same old show? Why, the Brooks International name and reputation alone. It won't go, Gabby. Why, you even let Roy Rogers and the Sons of Pioneers slip between your fingers. Madden signed them up, too. Ah, singers ain't got no place in the rodeo. Oh, now, let's face it, Gabby. Your show needs new blood. Now, why don't you talk it over with Marjorie? Maybe she can... I ain't telling Margie none of this. I'm putting the Brooks International back on its feet, Madden or no Madden. I'll be back in there splitting leather with the best of them. If I have to split a rib, getting it done. 306 book of Little Nugget, the Miner's Child. This is station W-A-K-T. Gabby. Your announcer, Marty Mason. Gabby, I want to talk to you. Not now. Little Nugget snowed under a landslide. With only her neck sticking out. The fool manager of her mind didn't tell her it was crumbling. I can sympathize with Little Nugget. It's pretty much of a shock to find yourself up to your neck with things crumbling. Uh, now, 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 honey, I, I, I gotta get to my books. Never mind the books, the books Gabby. I'm all through. Quit sitting around in my lap. Keep that lasso around him, Rose. It'll I pin him down to the truth. Yep. Oh, doggone it. You got me all snarled up here. I'm in a worse shape, my little nugget. Our manager who didn't tell her. You been talking to that big mouth Frank Madden. Keep a tight rein on him, Rosie. Hey, pay no mind to him. He's, uh, he's... He's just hired Ace and Sandy. Slappy line, Rosie. Take a reef in your belt, Gabby. I'll stand by in case of a spill. Maybe I ain't just exactly confided in you, but you're just naturally too pretty to get all messed up in trouble. Oh, Gabby, you're letting me go spending all this money on a college education and, and wood nymphs. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. When a good writer gets rolled, he don't sit. He gets up. Yes, he does, boss gal. He gets up, dusts off the seat of his pants, and climbs back in the saddle. That's what Top Hand does. Have we got a saddle? I know we haven't got any top riders left. I just hired seven heads. The ridingest, brockingest, bustingest. And the eatingest. I got cook feeding the whole parcel of them out in the kitchen, and the only one that didn't act as if food was a novelty was Roy Rogers. Do you mean to say you hired that bunch of crooners, Gabby? Why, they got muscles made out of steel springs and ribs made out of whalebone. They'd be more at home in a soda fountain. Oh, excuse me, I was just going out... Oh, never mind that now. Come on down and get acquainted. Well, thanks. Well, son, did you eat your fill? We sure did, Miss McGirt. Hello, Miss Brooks. Hello. I think we're going to like it here. It takes a great weight off my mind. My cow, where have you been sitting? At Frank Madden's. I found it a little dirty over there, too. Mr. Madden is thoroughly qualified to engage whom he pleases for whatever he pleases. You were employed as singers. Maybe you're prejudiced. I still say we're a riding outfit. Go on over to the bunkhouse. Pick yourself out of bed. One with southern exposure. Yes, <laughs> we want you to feel right at home. Yes. Thanks. Maybe I will when I get used to the uh, climate. Singing bronc buster. Ouch! That's to take the frost off the edges. Come on. Where you fellas been? Chow's been waiting for an hour. Go on in and get it. Soon as we wash up, tell Margie to wait for us. Margie's at and gone. Gone? Where? Silver Lake with Frank Madden. She's a pretty brave girl, isn't she? I'll give Trigger some oats and be right in. She rode Trigger. Well, wait a minute, Gabby. Using my horse for taxi service wasn't part of our deal. 
Bob, drive me over to the lake, will you? Bring Margie back with you. Madden can attend to that. I'm rounding up Trigger. Well, the boss gal's important, too. We wouldn't like to lose her to Madden, and he had a mighty proposing look in his eye when they left. You just got to bring her back, Roy. Well, I'll see what I can do. But mainly, I'm going after a valuable horse. You're darn tootin'. Bring him back, son. How am I doing this time? <laughs> Beautifully, Frank. Only don't spoil it now by promising to count the gate receipts if I marry you. I'm afraid there won't be any. Gabby hasn't any playing time outside of the state fair. There I go again, mixing business with romance. I'm sorry, but I did get it straight from Weatherby. First, Gabby hires those wandering minstrels you discarded. Then he fools me into believing he could build a show around Trigger. And all the time, he knew we didn't have any bookings. Why not share mine, combining the Brooks Madden show now and uh, for the rest of your life? You're really offering me solid bookings, aren't you? <laughs> Drive the car back, Bob. I'll ride Trigger. Maybe Trigger can persuade you. Come on, Trigger. You're fired, do you hear? Fired! All right, but I can't let my job go undone. Gabby gave me orders to escort you home. Gabby's orders. I'm not moving another foot until I find Frank Madden. Well, I don't have any orders about him. Service, Trigger. Well, there's no use in both of us walking. Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure, but he isn't half as ugly as a girl can be. And for your information, he's real transportation. How's about a ride with me? Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure, but he's easy riding saddles like a rocking chair. And if you're tired of walking, you'd better do some talking. He won't charge you any fare. Tramp, tramp down the dusty trail till you get the gal. Tramp, tramp, tramp over hill and dale. Soon you'll tuck her out. Old Trigger hasn't got a pretty figure, but he's nice and kind and gentle as a horse can be. He can carry a double, it isn't any trouble, and we're needing company, so. How's about a ride for free? Give up? <laughs> oh, come on. Roy! Margie! Well, Gabby, I found your stray. Look at that. Have we got us a date? Is this something else you dreamed up, Gabby? You know we haven't any date but the state fair. Uh, that's what you think. That's what I know. Frank told me. Mm, one time he told wrong. Have booked your show, One Day Stand, Albuquerque, Wednesday. Best can do so far, but other dates possible if this performance warrants. Good luck, Bill Weatherby. What do you think of that, huh? It's too late. I'm selling out to Frank Madden. 
I'm closing the deal on Saturday, Gabby. You don't really mean that. You're all that's left of the Brooks name, and you can't quit now. Won't you give us another chance? Gabby's right, Miss Brooks. At least let us play the Albuquerque date. I'm sure that'll convince you. All right, Gabby. Go ahead. You've got till next Saturday. Thanks, boss gal. I'll go call Weatherby right now. Good night, Roy. Good night, Margie. We'll pass you somewhere near Blackford Falls. Looks like we're on our way, Gabby. Yes, sir, boy. This is the life, Roy. Wagons rolling, good show ready to play, camping for a meal, and then the crowd. The crowd's filling the bleachers. Did you straighten it out with Margie? Oh, we don't want no women on this trip. She'll be along tomorrow with Rosie. Wait till she sees the show. Ha! Huh. Come Saturday, she won't sell the Madden or nobody else. Bob! Gabby forgot his briefcase. I'll give it to him. Good luck. See you tomorrow. We're all set, Gabby. Say, are we going straight through without a stop? Tired of the stop? I should say not. We'll camp at night, Paul. Give him a little rest, then get going around midnight. Well, come on, let's keep rolling so we can catch up. Pretty singing, Roy. I wish you could hear me when I was a young guy. Wonder what's wrong with them hogs. Look, it's triggered. Hey, something yeah, burning down there. Far them. Come here. What's the matter, boy?
Well, what do you think, Jim? We'll never make Albuquerque. That's a cinch. It'll take all day tomorrow to round up the stock. I found this around Trigger's neck when he came running into me. Do you know anyone who throws a rope like it? Rawhide ain't used much anymore. Well, somebody uses it, and I'm going to find out who it is. Yeah. Somebody that don't want our competition. Somebody along the lines of Madden. I'll fix him in his... Take it easy, Gabby. We can't prove a thing yet. Yeah, but he sure done a good job of it. The ornery coyote. Roy, our show's a goner. We're still gonna play Albuquerque. Uh, yep. Have you lost your buttons? We ain't got no more chance at... Hey, wait a minute. You got something in mind? Maybe I have. What are you figuring on? I'm riding back to that last town. I'm gonna make a telephone call. Bells, bells, but not in time. Little Nugget jumps out of the burning building and grabs the little puppy in her arms. This is Station WAKT, Marty Maisie speaking. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, I was just... Hello, Roy. Hello. Well, wait a minute. Just a minute, Roy. <laughs> I, I was kind of sleek. Hello, Roy. I... Huh? Oh, I... Oh, no, I couldn't do that, Roy. Oh, no, Roy, well, that equipment, I, I couldn't... But, well, I know you did, but but that... Oh, you... All right. All right, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, oh, well, don't worry about that, because I bring my own car, see? That'll handle... Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's all right, Roy. Sure. Okay. Goodbye, fella. Oh, nice guy. Oh. Be bashful, Rosie. Go on, take one. Thanks. Mr. Maisley, it's so nice of you to drive us to Albuquerque. Oh, that's all right. I mean, there was no use taking two cars. And besides, I want to see the show myself, don't I? And it's the only way that we... I mean, why don't you have an apple? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <clears throat> Maisley, are you sure this is the way to Albuquerque? Well, it's a short of a shortcut. A sort of a shortcut. I, I mean to say, it's a little bit quicker this way, I think. If we, are you sure you won't have an apple? It, it's. It... Stop, Mr. Maisley. Stop. I knew we were going the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcia. I don't know how that happened. I thought Cut that... Cut the gibber and Maisley and turn this buggy around. We can get there in time to see part of the show anyway. Yeah, well, all right. Marjorie, would you drive, please? Because I get nervous. I can't drive fast, and I'm nervous now anyway. And I... I, I... I don't know how it happened. I haven't got a very good sense of direction. What's wrong? We're not out of gas. Uh, I don't know. It, it never did this before. I like horses better myself. Not so many gadgets on them. Yeah. Well, I, I bought the car from a traveling salesman, and, and often, I, I, but it never has done this before. I... I don't understand it. Distributor, carburetor, wiring, everything's fine. I, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't... We'll never see the show now. No. But we can listen to it. Could we? Well, of course we can. Station WAKT never lets its public down. It's the grand entry. The grand entry of the Brooks International Show playing here in Albuquerque. Yes, sirree. This parade looks mighty good to this cheering from. And here they come. The chuck wagons and chariots. All the rolling stock you need to give you an idea of the thrills in store for this mighty throng here today. Yes, indeed, folks. Yes, indeed. You ought to be here. 
Everything is ducky. Now, to start things off nice, put the crowd in a mellow mood, we're going to begin with a little tune by those boys without equal and song erection. Presenting the Sons of the Pioneers. You're off, Bob. I'll take over the sound effects. I hope you know what you're doing, Roy. Get over there. Plain so big and wide, since you saddle upon the height of a wild horse, cowboy, cowboy, king of the range and rodeo, you are bound to get in the door if you ride them, cowboy. There's bronx and bulls are plenty awaiting at the shoot, the roughest kind you'll ever find, and tougher than a boot, cowboy. Grab your seat and set them tight, the riding's rough, but the pay is right if you ride them. Cowboy. For every bronco buster, there is money in the bag if you can ride them, cowboy. So get your rigging ready and grab yourself an egg. Come on and try to ride them, cowboy. Cowboy, king of the plains so big and wide, sinks your saddle upon the height of a wild horse, cowboy. Cowboy. King of the range and rodeo, you are bound to get in the door if you ride them, cowboy. There's bronx and bulls are plenty awaiting at the shoot. The roughest kind you'll ever find and tougher than a boot. Cowboy, grab your seat and set them tight. The riding's rough, but the pay is right if you ride them, cowboy. Ride them, cowboy. Did you hear that crowd cheering? Yeah, yeah, it sure sounds like Gabby's built your great show all right, all right. <laughs> he sure did. A crowd doesn't cheer like that for nothing. Oh, today Albuquerque, then the State Fair, and then Madison Square Garden. Yee -hee! Yee -hee! <laughs> Wee! How are you coming in there, Rosie? Keep your shirt on. We'll call you when we're ready. Man, that smells good. Hey, right up, Margie. Boy's hungry. That means you're hungry. Now, look here, Gabby. This is a celebration. I'm not just cooking these spare ribs. I'm giving them loving care. <laughs> I'm going to be more careful with our show, too, after the way it went over at Albuquerque. Believe me, I'm not going to let that Bill Weatherby just throw any old play date at us. Some flower pots. Well, I wouldn't turn anything down. From what I heard, we have a peach of a show. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some more acts, and I'm going to add a little color and splash, and then New York. Sounded good, huh? Oh, terrific. I wish I could have been there to see you in action. Well, I may not have been so good, but I was sure busy. <laughs> some salt, please. Salt? Mm-hmm. Yes, you were busy. And that's just the way you're going to be from now on. I'll ride any place with you. I've been on a detour, Roy, and I almost got lost. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Anybody's about to get lost. Yes, but I've got my bearings now. Well, good. Where do we go from here? Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden? Yes, that's the rodeo paradise. Oh, oh yeah. Um, a uh, sous pepper. A uh, sous <laughs> Oh, pepper. Yes. Pepper. Achoo! Hold your breath and count to nine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? Can't you count? Not that far. In the dusk as the shadows fall When the night seems to cover all From the hills you see them shining See the lights of old Santa Fe. Evening breeze blows the leaves around, while the brook lends a gentle sound. And this cowboy's heart is pining for the lights of old Santa Fe. For maybe 
when the roundup's over. That's when you'll be fancy free. And there's a chance I'll be in clover If a certain miss is waiting there for me Well, we'll see There I'll stay Never more to roam Just a shack But we'll call it home And we'll find our silver lining in the lights of old Santa Fe. There we'll stay never more to roam. Just a shack, but we'll call it home. And we'll find our silver lining in the lights of old Santa Fe. Why, Gabby, I had no idea you could be so charming. You're fascinating yourself for an old war horse. Oh. <laughs> Come and get it, boys. Or I'll eat it myself. Is anybody home? Hold everything. We got company. I'm taking... Frank, the weather beat, you're just in time. We're celebrating. Anything in particular, Marjorie? Ooh, the performance at Albuquerque it was out of this world. It must have been. I didn't see it. Bill, it was in Albuquerque yesterday. Uh, the arena in Albuquerque is kind of out of the way. Sort of hard to find. I found it all right, but you didn't. I got to see a fella about a bucking horse. Wait a minute, Gabby. This concerns you and Rogers. Where is he? Roy? Roy, will you step in here a minute, please? This concerns you, too, Rogers. What is it? You thought you were putting something over with that broadcast, didn't you? Oh, why, Mr. Weatherby, I heard every word of it. Every event described, just as if I was there. But you weren't, and neither was your show. If the object was to fool me, it failed. But Marjorie's just as much a victim of this fiasco as anybody. It makes no difference. The show carries her name. And it was a good one, too. This type of cheap trickery will never put a show on Madison Square Garden. Well, just a minute, Mr. Weatherby. I can explain what happened. The Brooks show still has everything you heard on the radio and more, too. The Don't boy's bother not... to explain. I should have listened to Frank. He told me we had no bookings. He also told me we had no show. He was right, and this proves it. Gabby, I thought the Brooks name meant something to you. But I was wrong about that and a lot of other things. My offer still holds good. Thank you, Frank. You can do what you want with the stock and equipment. But without the Brooks International name and reputation... Wait a minute. We'll present our combined shows at the State Fair. Will that be all right with the Association? That's a good idea. Or the scouts from Madison Square Garden will be there. We've got a lot of planning to do, Marjorie. Come on. Bill. Well, Gabby, I guess that lets us out. Reckon that makes our celebration a kind of a going away party. Frank Madden proudly presents. He didn't lose any time, did he? Frank Madden. I'll be right back, boys. I want to say goodbye to Mason. what I mean. Anyone know who owns this horse? Yes, he belongs to a guy by the name of Ferguson. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Ferguson, huh? Drinks are on Madden, boy. Go in and have a drink. How about you, Tex? Have a little drink on Madden. You see what I see? Bob! I'll explain this later, Bob. <laughs> Got into you, Roy. Just common horse sense. Trigger and I have lost plenty of good jobs sticking to you guys. 
We'd have been with Madden Show right now if it wasn't for you. You're just excess baggage. Hello, Rogers. Hiya, Ferguson. Kind of like the way you handle yourself. Handle myself? I'm just beginning to find out what a sucker I've been. Back to you. Back. Heard you say something about Madden's show. How'd you like to join it, you and Trigger, alone? Who wouldn't? Is he really going daffy? No, 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 wait a minute. He's never gone daffy before. He sure got a daffy right, though. Well, you can forget about those guys. From now on, I'm riding without handicaps. Well, good. We'll meet Madden at the fairgrounds right after his wedding. Why can't we meet him at his ranch? Get things settled first. Be quite a feather in your cap, wouldn't it, to have Trigger there waiting for him? Yeah, Madden sure goes for that horse. Well, let's get started. Okay. I'll leave the car here and pick it up later. We'll take the hossie under road and cut off across country. We'll get there in plenty of time. You like to get things done in a hurry, don't you? Come on. Murphy's livery stable. Saddle horses for rent. Listen, Rogers. How about me telling Madden I talked you into bringing Trigger? Okay. Okay with me. Tell him anything you want. Thanks. I'll do you a favor some. What do they want? I don't know. We're not speaking. Listen, Rogers, if you... Don't ask me. We're not speaking either. If you guys think... They don't think, Ferguson. For example, I told the boys this morning that a rawhide expert like yourself is really a handy man with a lariat. Of course, sometimes rawhide breaks, like when you tried to rope trigger. Why, you... Get him, Roy. 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 Get him a hand, fellas. All he wants now is a nice, quiet, cool, shady place. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. If any person objects, let him speak now. Or forever hold his peace. Just a minute, Judge. I hate to interrupt, folks, but there's something Miss Brooks ought to know. They made me do it, boss. I tell you, they... You wait outside, Ferguson. I'll talk to you later. It's no use, Madden. Do you mind reading this, Judge? It's important. I, Kenneth Ferguson, do solemnly swear that acting under the orders of my employer, Frank Madden, I deliberately damaged property of the Brooks International Rodeo, making it impossible for the show to play its date in Albuquerque. Signed, Kenneth Ferguson. Judge, you don't think that I would... Forget wouldn't... it. You're through. All right, Madden. Sure, if this is perfectly... Tell that to your lawyer. You're under arrest. Sam, take him along. Come on, Madden. Sorry to interrupt your gathering, folks. Can be helped, Sheriff. Man's got to do his duty. Let's go out in the lawn, folks, and get a oh, breath of fresh air. Yeah, go out and get a little soda pop. Oh, uh, Judge, thanks just the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, expect to see you again so soon, son. Got here just in time, too. I'm sorry for Margie. Yeah, but it's such a sweet sorrow. Fine, send her in. Hello, Bill. Marjorie, honey, I'm glad to see you. You know, I had quite a time finding you. I'm having quite a time finding myself, Bill. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Sit down, honey. No, we both got off on the wrong track for a while. I think we both want to do something about it, don't we? Yes, but what? What can I do? Well, you can listen. Now, 
I made a deal with Matt. I'm not interested in anything concerning Matt and Bill. Let's just forget it, shall we? Oh, Marjorie, now don't get excited. Sit down, please. I said, I have made a deal with Matt. I knew he couldn't run a business while in prison, so I bought his show, Lock, Stock and Barrel. How does that hit you? Fine. Congratulations. Oh, now keep that chin up. I know I favored Madden all along, but that's partly because it was good business. He had a better show. Yes, he did. Partly because, well, I'm ashamed to say it, but I let Madden influence me against Gabby. That's like you, Bill, to take the blame on yourself. Let's face it. Gabby's old-fashioned ideas just let the show go to seed. Well, all right, suppose the show is a little rusty. It isn't too late. Maybe it couldn't stand on its own two legs. But the name and reputation still have value. To whom? Well, to me. To all of us. The Brooks Weatherby combined shows. We'll use the state fair as a spot to try it out. And I wouldn't be at all surprised to end up in Madison Square Garden. How does that sound? Oh, Bill, that really sounds. Starring Roy Rogers and the Sons of the Pioneers and... What's the matter? I guess you'd better forget it, Bill. I can't deliver. I haven't even got a show. Well, uh, Egbert, uh, how do you like the rodeo business? Oh, no, never stayed one place long enough to find out. Yep, 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 yep. Roy! 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 Hey, Roy! What is it, Rosie? Lally, I got around at a time like this. Get to get. Get to get what? The show, the show, the show. Look, Rosie, we've only got one show. What's the matter? Get it to the state fair. You better sit down and take a little rest. Give me a hand, Roy. Rest. Why, yeah. I don't want to rest. Let me be. Here, Roy, read this quick. It's for Gabby. I know, but you read faster. It's for Marjorie. Dear Gabby, I'm returning the Brooks' name and reputation to you and to those who have proved they can care for it better than I. I know how much this state fair date means to you. If you hurry, you can still make it. Contact Weatherby immediately. Good luck, Margie. Isn't that wonderful? Where is she, Rosie? She packed and drove off. Well, I'll find her. I'll find her. Your job's to get that equipment rolling. Okay, but find her. Come on, boy. Well, get to get him. Oh!
Swing your partner to the right. Swing her back and hold her tight. Swing her far into the night. That's the cow poke polka. One little bird in the three real pin. The bird hops out and the crow hops in. Chicken in the bread pan picking out dough. The crow hops out and away you go. Circle eight and swing your part. Swing her easy, not too hard. Rattle your spurs till you get tired. That's the cow poke polka. Cowboy's heart is pining 